we are somewhere at uh, Lekki in the suburb of Lagos uh, trying to see what to do to facilitate the, uh, re the, re the upgrading and renovation of a hatchery that was uh, built by a client who met us at a show. Uh, we came in there for, we came for um, what they call preliminary site survey but somehow for reasons best known to the client probably chose to uh, um, make a DIY attempt to do it on his own which looks fairly okay but then there's a lot of mistakes and that's the mistakes I'm going to point out to a few of us before we go about the reactivation the aim is to produce a hatchery here but then it's like there are a few challenges I'm going to take you in now for us to see what and what are the mistakes one by one in as much as I can cover and then take you on a bit later on when the mistakes have been uh, readjust, have been uh, readjusted and corrected. So, let me see. Now, like I said earlier, we're going to go in now and see what and what are the faults. But let's look at the faults outside first. Okay. Okay. Here is a ashtray. Here is a supposed ashtray that was supposed to put an alkalizer in to make the water to be okay and then fix an irrigation system. But we found out that this has to be converted to a nursery. It can't serve as a ashtray at all. Let's go in briefly and see all of the mat all material faults that is in here. One, the roofing is so low, creating excessive heat. Two, there's no space between the there's no place to vent off ammonia and reduce sulfur on the surface and then there should be spacing at the bottom too but let's go in first and see what's going on then the the tarpaulin should actually be dark you know probably uh reflective in the frontals and uh photo photophobic at the photophobic at the back first of all these vats are large and they are created close to the floor do not look at the floor first it's supposed to be a little bit uh higher and flawed for 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 safety now it's not done which is really bad and then if you look at the wood that is used number five uh uh it's called some middle or that's the one you use in uh, temporary structures now it's already been eaten up by uh by insects like if you see right on the floor and they have not made a production yet if you look at the tarpaulin, the way it's sewn is not sealed so it's leaking now if you look at it it's recessing water to the back so water cannot flow to the front there's no lightning system there's no lightning system except this, this stuff. It's big, real big. Now it should be more comfort about, uh, I think about one meter length and it's probably a little bit too long. Water will bust out here. The quality of the wood used is even low. You should use hardwood. This will definitely ex explode by the time by the time you put water in here. Then if you look at the slopes backwards, instead of sloping upwards, that's another mistake that we made already, which is not ideal. Then if you look at if you look at it's crimped when it's, it was put together, that's wrong plumbing. It should be corrected. Then of course, if you look at the seam at the edge. It should be, it should be fully welded, not sewn by a tailor. Definitely, this is leaking, and this is not ideal at all. So management is going to be a nightmare here. And we look at the quality of the wood. You will see that insects are already right there, trying to eat up the part of the wood. Oh, look at this! Am I, am I houses? This is my ideal. So I can't more than emphasize the need for hardwood but if you look at the floor this is unhealthy the floor should actually be put a bit be cemented so that it makes a very neat and nice environment for people to walk in then of course there is no tools for washing come on and then the lightning too just two one or two just one bulb that's not ideal here yeah. we should have more bulbs and then we look at the water flow we should have a flow of water right from the uh, from the from the farthest point of, of the exit to the to the to the uh, to the end of the exit there. Now that's not happening here, which is not ideal at all. Then of course, uh, apart from that, there's no rating system. I mean, they need to do that so as to actually help the survival of the fish. And of course, when we go out, let's look at the water system that they have. Now here, the water system should be well. That looks will be okay, but for the productivity, I think. Uh, they should be a little bigger and then there should be an alkalizer in between so that they can have the right pH 7 to actually make the water conducive for the fish. 
and of course this actually should be raised a little bit this should be raised so that water can flow out like you have at the edge there you can see water is flowing back so the whole place has to be raised in a nutshell this will have to be condemned but we want to waste the entrepreneurial resources the entrepreneurs resources it will be converted to a nursery while this place where we stand now will be used for a hash that can probably be used to hash up to 20,000 fishes so stay tuned when I come over to show you the upgrade that we have done to make it uh, a good example for people who are far away from Mr. Fish but still need the information to be able to get up with a cottage action, I mean, to jumpstart their income source in the world of agriculture. Mr. Fish is already doing talking. It's nice to see you online.